from a fan's perspective, what did you like the most about the practice today? But from a player's perspective, what disappointed you the most about today's practice? Um, that's a great question. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say I was disappointed at all. You know, I, I think any chance you have to go out there and to play football to get better and to practice, I think it's a great opportunity for us. Um, you know, guys attack week in and week out like it's their last. And uh, I think that's one of the great things about our team is how eager and, and you know, excited they are to be out there. And so we put in a lot of good work this offseason, um, and, and now we're looking forward to the challenges of football. What percentage do you think your foot is? My? Your foot, would that have the pla uh, plaster fascia? Oh, I, no, I, I didn't have that. But uh, it's feeling much better, though, so I appreciate that. Just what, what did you have in, in your um, You know, I think that's just something that uh, it's, you know, it's a personal thing that you'd like to keep to yourself. And um, if it's not something I have to put out there, then you know, I think I'd like to keep that to myself and to the doctors here especially. Right. Whatever it was, you're back 100% uh, now? Correct. I just wanted to ask, are you wearing any type of arch or assistance there in your shoe or anything like that? Um, not that I'm aware of. When did you hurt it? Was it in practice? No, I think it was just one of those things that I, I went in. It was getting a little sore and talked to him about it. Um, but uh, it, there wasn't really one moment that I, I felt it happen. I, I came back, got it. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think over the past couple of weeks of being out, um, you know, I, I, I did my best to, to pick up as much as I could in meetings, be out there and walk throughs and, um, do everything I can to, to not miss a rep. You know, it's definitely tough, but I, I felt like I was in great care with, with the staff here. So more of a sort of gradual then? As yeah, far as I like think that's, sort of that's kind of how I got it. Um, yeah, to be honest, I don't really know the exact, you know, diagnosis of it and exactly how it happened, but it's just one of those things I didn't really notice a, a finite moment where it happened. Um, it was more so of like a buildup, I guess. And so did it start building up in training camp or was it even like, was it in the spring that you started feeling it or was it? That's a great question. Yeah. Um, I would say it probably happened before that. Um, you know, I, I couldn't tell you exactly when, and that's that's kind of the difficult part. I, I told them was I didn't really know when or or what happened, but uh, we got better, so we're we're through it and, and we're looking forward. Is there anything different you're doing in practice, or you'll do different during the season just to make sure there's not any stress on the foot or any undue stress on the foot? Yeah, I think early on I, I kind of tested out some different cleats and some things that were. Um, you know, easier on the foot. A, a cleat can be difficult, and you know, especially how hard that is. Um, so we're, whether it's a turf shoe, whether it's a you know a weightlifting shoe, um, just getting that adjustment back into football and getting back to, to being on your toes, and especially um, you know wearing a cleat. So I, I thought that accumulation or acclimation period was was well used. How, I mean, how difficult was it to sit out those those three weeks to be in the walking boot? I mean, everyone's obviously excited to be here at the new facility to have Jim here. Mm -hmm. You guys are going through the installation process, and then you have to sit out three weeks. Like, how frustrating, disappointing, difficult was that for you? Yeah, very tough. You know, those are the reps that you you wish to get back, and you don't want to lose those, especially during the preseason, where if you're not playing in the game, practice is everything to you. And to miss that, it, it was definitely tough. But you know, I thought our coaches, Shane Day, especially, we did a great job of not missing too much. Where if I wasn't out of practice, I was watching it. Um, you know, we were we were going through the film, meeting, talking about it. So I felt like I was getting reps out there. Obviously, you guys have a – just one fall out there. Just, you guys have a lot of new pass catchers here, you know, between the tight end room, the receiver room, even the running backs that you sort of have to develop a rapport with. Obviously, you had all the time during OTAs. But what did you do while you were out, while you were in the walking boot, to try and continue building that rapport yeah. with guys like DJ and Ladd and Will and, and Hayden, JK, Gus, all these guys? Yeah, yeah, and I think that's kind of the tough part about, you know, missing that time is you're not getting those reps with those guys. And they're all new and – Everyone's new. This entire offense is new, and you're, and you're doing your best to pick it up and, and move as, as quickly as you can. But when you miss that, you got to find ways to, whether it's watching the film and talking with them, um, or whether it's going out after practice and throwing a couple of reps, just seeing how they move and um, you know what they think of the reps. But uh, the great thing about it is, is meeting with the receivers, with the tight ends, talking exactly what we see through seven on team reps, um, and just being able to communicate and really get that with each other. Did you do some of that uh, meeting with guys during that stretch you were in the boot and, and throwing with them? As in meeting with, with the team? Uh, sorry, receivers and, and throwing with them during the time that, that you were in the boot. Did, uh, you mentioned you meeting with guys and throwing with them. Did, did that something you did during the time you were Yeah, just during our meetings here. Oh, okay. The reps that you have had, obviously they're not game reps, but close enough that you feel no questions about the foot. 
Yeah, I mean, every time you step out on the field, you're not going to have any questions. So it's it's full speed regardless of the situation. And um, you know, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable out there if if you know the training staff didn't do as great a job as they did. If I didn't feel comfortable, I would I wouldn't be out there. Um, and so that's one of those things that you're out there on the field, and you're not even thinking about it, you're not worried about it. When you returned, um, the, the week you returned, it was uh, the Quentin seemed to have like one of his best weeks of practices. You seem like you targeted him a lot. What, what have you seen from him um, and, and what do you anticipate from him this year? Yeah, I think he's a playmaker. He's one of those guys you have to find ways to get him the ball. And when you do, special things, ha special things happen. Um, and so a lar large part of our offense is just finding ways to get him the ball and especially those playmakers on the outside. Um, us as quarterbacks view ourselves as point guards where we just have to get them the ball. And, you know, I think that's the tough part about the NFL is defenses are always coming up with ways to stop that. So as long as we're getting them the ball in space um, and giving them a chance to run with it, um, you know, I think we're doing our job. Did you feel any rust at all when, when you came back or, or any chemistry laps with anyone? Did, did it kind of feel like normal? No, yeah, I think we did a good job of, of meeting and talking with each other that we didn't feel like we missed any time off. Um, you know, there are going to be times, or especially in camp, where guys are tired or, um, you know, they're fighting through some things. But, uh, you know, I thought it was a great, great camp. Uh, guys learned a lot, and we really got after it. Justin, last season was such a downer. How were you able to wash that away, and how has Jim specifically been able to rejuvenate this, this team? I think it's just always on to the next game. You know, you, you have to have that mindset in football because tough things are going to happen, adversity, you never want them to happen. Um, but it's on, on us to figure out ways to not let that happen again. And, you know, I think we've had a great camp, great off season. Um, you know, Coach Harbaugh has done a great job of coming in here and earning everyone's trust. And um, he's a guy that we all respect, want to play for. Um, so we're really looking forward to the year. Justin, every year there's player rankings, quarterback rankings. I think this year you're in 75th in the NFL top 100. Do you pay attention to that type of stuff and does it motivate you? Um, I do not, but uh, I appreciate you letting me know that. Thank you. <laughs> Are new. Does this week one feel different in terms of the level of excitement, the, the energy? Does it feel different compared to, to other years? Um, I think it's week one, you know, and, and we're always excited for that. Uh, any chance you get to go out and play football, especially against uh, another opponent that we respect, um, it's a great opportunity for us. You know, we've, we've put in a lot of work this offseason, and I think that's what makes it so exciting is finally we get to strap it up and we get to go play. Um, and so we're just looking forward to that. What do you take from him in terms of lessons and uh, fellow NFL quarterback and stuff like that? Yeah, I think it's awesome. You know, he's always in the quarterback room. And he's always talking about what he sees from the quarterback position, what he wants with the offense. And, um, you know, he's done such a great job asking questions, giving his input that, you know, we really feel comfortable with how we want this offense ran. And, and with G-Row and, um, you know, the, all the input that we have in that quarterback room, um, we, we know that our quarterbacks are, are well prepared for the game. Raiders, you always got to think about uh, Max. Uh, just, you know, thoughts about playing him and how good he is, one of the best in the league when he does. Yeah, we got a lot of respect for him. You know, we, we know how talented he is. We know how talented that team is. Um, and so we have to have our best effort this week um, because we know how special that team can be, and especially, uh, you know, that defense that really flies around makes a lot of plays. Um, so we've been watching a lot of film. Between you and the group, that was here last year. Is there a little bit extra going into this game considering how the last meeting went? Yeah, I, de I definitely think that you could take a look at that. Um, you know, those one of those games that you watch and um, you got to learn from it. You know, you, you can't let that happen again. And guys in that locker room, they all feel the same way. We don't even have to talk about it. You know, you know what it, what kind of feeling it brings out. Um, and uh, just getting back out there and, and giving another opportunity to go play. You know, we got a lot of respect, like I said, for this Raiders team. They're very well coached. They, they fly around, and you see that in the preseason. You know, it doesn't take long for you to pick that up. Um, and so it's really on us to have a great week of practice so that we can, uh, you know, get after it on Sunday. In Oregon and here, you've had runs with new coaches and OCs, but was this one of the more hectic and eventful training camps for you with the injury? and? Then to elevator and <laughs> Dallas and everything. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's. It's been a fun test. Uh, definitely learned a lot. Um, you know, definitely go through some things that you don't want to have to experience during the preseason. Um, but uh, a huge shout out to the Dallas Fire Department um, for coming up and saving us, and especially Verizon for. I think I might have been the only person with service in the, that elevator. So thankfully, I had coverage and was able to make a call. Um, so shout out to those two people for sure. Yeah, uh, so you started the no elevators trend, or are you done with elevators moving forward? Oh, uh, that, that was just kind of a joke. Um, 
I would, I mean, if I have the, the chance to take stairs here, I, I definitely do. So, um, but depending on, you know, how many floors you have to go. How scary of an experience was that for you? Yeah, uh, it, it wasn't fun. You know, you get locked up in an elevator and, and you don't know when you're getting out. We, we made a couple calls and they kept telling us, you know, it'll be, it'll be 15, 20 minutes and that kept going, on going for a couple hours and um, it was tight. It was, there wasn't a lot of air and, uh, you know, I think we just did a great job of keeping everyone calm and knowing that, hey, we got the professionals working on it. We got the fire department here, like, we're going to get us out. And uh, as long as everyone kept kept calm and, uh, you know, took care of each other, uh, we got out of there in, in one piece. So it was, it was big. Did you find out if any of your teammates that were in those elevators had claustrophobia? No, no one did. Or maybe they, they hit it really well. We kept telling everyone, you know, if you need to take a seat, you know, take, there's no shame in that. Take a seat. And, and everyone was being tough, like, no, I'm not, I'm not going down. So, um, you know, I thought that was really cool that everyone kept each other up and, and kept fighting through it. You said you were the last one off the elevator. Why, why were you the last one off? Uh, I think it's just it worked out that way. We made sure that everyone was getting up off the, um, the ladder, and I think it was Foster and Zion and I. Um, you know, we just made sure that everyone was able to get up. The, elevator, uh, the ladder was kind of moving a little bit, so we kind of held it in place, make sure everyone got up. Um, and then the firefighters did a great job getting all those guys shuttled on the other elevator. Um, so it just worked out that way. Since we're uh, approaching opening day, I wonder, like in other sports, like baseball, for example, it's a huge deal, opening day. It's almost a national holiday. I wonder what you, you know, what do you think of opening day in the NFL? What is that like, or is it just another week? It's a huge day as well, you know. Uh, any chance you get to, to go play football, especially in week one, uh, it's all the off-season work that you put in together. Um, you know, it's finally a chance to go put the pads on, go play. So we're, we're really looking forward to it. I know you keep these, these games pretty even keel. Is this Chargers Raiders thing starting to mean any more to you now that you've had some years of, to be part of this rivalry? Yeah, I, I think I always get that question. I, I think it's a good question. And I think if it started meaning more to me later, then it didn't mean as much to me early on. And these games, whether it was my rookie year or whether it was the, the fifth year, they all mean a ton. Like, I, I can't stress that. They meant the world to me back then, and they still mean the world to me now. Um, and so I understand your question, but it is, it is kind of tough saying they mean more to me now. Like, they're, they're always very important. And, and I think that's the tough part. And the cool thing about football is that, you know, it means so much to people. And whether it's a Raiders-Chargers or Chargers other rivalry, um, that's why, why people watch. And, you know, I think that's the great thing about why people go to the stadium and watch the game. Um, and so we're just looking forward to the opportunity, and, and this one means a lot to us especially. Do you have a, a sense at this point of how much, if at all, you're going to have to manage the foot through the season? Uh, that's a good question. I would say that it's not really on my mind right now. It's one of those things that um, if you get out in front of it, you do a good job on the back end. And whether it's making sure that you're rehabbing and, and icing and doing all the things you can in the training room before or after practice so you don't have to deal with it later. And as long as we're out in front of it, you know, I, think, uh, I think I'll be all right with it. Like going back to 22 when you had the ribs, for example, like that was obviously something that you had to, mm -hmm. you had to manage maybe more from like a pain perspective. Is it similar at all in terms of like the amount of management that's going to go into it over the course of the season? Is it different than what you went through in that season? Um, I think it is. It's not as bad as that. Um, the ribs were pretty brutal to deal with. Um, this, you know, I think we've done a great job, especially those those two weeks off. I could have I could have fought through it. I could have played through it. Um, but they, they talked about just making sure that if it, if it heals up, gets better over the two weeks, then, then you don't have to worry about it again. And so I think I, I felt comfortable with the plan. We all were on the same page. Um, and as long as I'm doing everything I can treatment-wise to take care of it, it shouldn't be an issue. It is your plant foot. So does that, is, is it impacting your drops, throwing motion at all, considering it is sort of the, the plant foot that you're yeah. off. Yeah, um, I think that's one of the great things about the acclimation period of where I was testing out those other cleats where you're just gradually getting your way back into a football cleat and testing it and making sure that you're not doing full drops, stepping up in the pocket and sprinting out on the first day. Um, and so there was a gradual incline of, hey, this today we're going to do you know a couple drops, test it out, see how it feels, come back tomorrow, do a little bit more. And so if we did that over the, a week or two, um, you know, I'm, I'm at where I am now, where I'm able to go out and practice in normal cleats and uh, take care of business like that. With the number of new starters on offense, is this the most trepidation or biggest sense of the unknown you've had going into an opener first game? Yeah, um, you know, I think that's a good point. And, 
I think that's why the reps are so important for this camp, especially and during OTAs where you got to take every rep and you got to go out there and, and make sure it's like a game rep because, um, you know, you, you, you keep track of all those reps and, and when you go into a game, you, you look back on them and, and you learn from what you do each time. And, you know, I think we've done a great job of just going out there and playing ball. And I think every practice, maybe it's 80 or 90 plays, which is a lot for, for a camp. Um, and so I think you just keep, keep repping those, learn as much as you can, and then uh, you get to the game and you know, you trust your guys, know what you're doing. What's it like that they have in Taylor in the room? It's awesome. You know, he's a great guy. He's, he's definitely a, a special quarterback. Um, you know, he's, he's very easy to get along with. He's smart. Uh, he knows the game. He's had a lot of success. So he's a great guy to, uh, to add to this room. Are you uh, one who sets personal goals prior to a season? Uh, team goals. Um, not so many personal goals, but uh, team goals especially. Just with the, the run game, obviously Greg's known for building pretty diverse run games, you know, with Jim, you know, and Stanford and, and San Francisco. Um, from your perspective, how much is going to fall on your shoulders? How much responsibility are you going to have in the run game when you get to the line of scrimmage, making checks, seeing what the defense is in and sort of dictating as the quarterback, specifically with the run game? Yeah, I think, I think it'll change from week to week. You know, I think a good bit of it will be uh, on the quarterback to get into certain looks, whether it's kills, cans. Um, but at the same time, it's, it's by game plan. If it's an opponent where we see, hey, they, they do a lot of different things and we want to get to the right run against the right look, I'm sure that'll be in the game plan. We've, we've repped that a bunch during camp. Um, but uh, I, I think that's just one of those things that changes from week to week. Is there, is there more to it in this offense for you with the run game specifically than, say, in previous offenses, whether it was Joe or or Kellen or Shane? Yeah, I think it's all um, pretty similar concepts run game wise. Uh, we call them obviously different things, different offenses. Um, but in terms of mechanics, the quarterback is going to get up to the line of scrimmage. And um, if there is a kill or a can, it's, it's getting to the right play. It's seeing the front, seeing the defensive structure and being able to change the play. Um, and, you know, I think we did a lot of that with Joe, with Kellen. Um, and so I think having that experience has definitely helped me here. I know there's a lot of people who talk about your position on the team and how important you are to this club. How do you feel knowing that if this team is to be successful and to reach the goals that you want to reach, that you have to have a good year and, and be successful? I think it's a great opportunity. Uh, you know, that's it's what's so fun about football is to go out there and, and make something happen. And we know how last year went and, and we're well aware of where we went and, and you know, how we got here. Um, but we, we've we got to learn from it. You got to move on, and you got to attack this next year. And you got to know that you got the confidence. You, you put in the work, and you do everything you can during the week. So you go out there on Sunday, and you play fast, you play free. And uh, you know, I think Coach Harbaugh has done a great job of communicating that with everyone. And uh, just going out to practice and seeing that, seeing guys fly around, uh, has definitely been a lot of fun. You like his sense of humor? Uh, yes, he's he's awesome. He's a great coach. Uh, love playing for him. Love listening to him. Um, and I'm excited to see him on game day. Surprised with how he took over to photo day and the attention to detail with the team photo and planning everything out. I'm not surprised. You know, I think that's that's what he does. And uh, we talked about it in the team meeting, and and we talked about it for a good five, ten minutes of, hey, this is the plan for the team photo, and if we if we all follow that, you know, we're going to get in and out, and that's exactly what happened. Did you ever have a head coach anywhere that put as much talk and everything? At because, I mean, college photo days, it's everybody get, on, get into the stadium and on the bleachers and take it. And yeah, we all had a signed seating. We talked about it. We knew exactly, hey, this is, this is how it's going to work out. And, you know, I, I think that's just a testament to, to what he is as a coach and what is he is as a person. And, and he's so detailed and, um, you know, he wants things a specific certain way for a reason. And if everyone can follow that, get in line with that, um, you know, we're all looking really forward to playing for him.